everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun to show you guys, well I'm going to do a makeup look. I'm going to do a festival makeup look and I'm going to be using all the makeup that I'm packing to bring with me to Palm Springs this weekend for the Revolve Festival that I'm going to. So everything in here is the makeup that I'm bringing. So I thought I would use this to do my makeup right now. <laughs> So that is what we are going to do. I'm gonna show you guys, this is all kind of like my go-to's, like festival, gotta look really, really good makeup. Oh, if you're not already following me on Instagram, Chelsea Trevor, follow me, shameless plug, follow me around Palm Springs, cause I'll be posting a lot of photos, so follow me. <laughs> We're gonna start off with primer, so I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I liked this when I tried it, so one pump. And you're supposed to wait like one minute after applying this to your skin before applying foundation. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna apply this and then we're gonna just, you know, wait a minute. So yeah. But it's gonna be hot as hell in Palm Springs. It's like calling for like 30 degree weather, which I haven't experienced in months. So I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready. Now we're waiting for that to set in. This is the foundation that I am bringing. So I'm actually working with Estee Lauder to do with going to Coachella. I'm not even going to Coachella, but you know. Their foundation is amazing for festivals, so I am working with them. Not in this video, I don't think. Maybe, don't know. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> but yeah, this, you guys already know that I am obsessed with this foundation. You guys know that already. It's amazing. Everyone knows this foundation is amazing, especially for when you need to have it like lasting a really long time. So yes, please, yes, please. And it's also like the most amazing coverage, so. We stan you. <laughs> You're great. <gasps> I should probably do my eyeshadow first, but I'm just not that kind of gal, you know? I do foundation first, because I live on the edge. And this foundation is just, the coverage is amazing. I'm the color wheat, and it matches me like perfectly. And this stuff is just foolproof. Like, it just looks good on everybody. Which we like. <laughs> You can also just like layer up the foundation if you want a bit more extra coverage in certain areas. <laughs> it's like my boy's box. And then it's got you covered. So I'm just gonna apply a bit more on my scarring and one blemish that I got from slipping in my makeup, which I never do, but you know, sometimes life calls for these things and it happens. So I, I slipped in it. Now I have a friend came to join me. This is what I'm saying about you don't need a lot. Look how much extra I have. Where's my concealer? Um, this is one of my new favorite concealers. It's like an oldie, but a goodie. It's the NARS Radiant Concealer. I have the color Cafe Con Lec, which somebody told me means like coffee with cream or something like that. So I just apply this underneath my eyes, but I don't apply too much, just right here. And then I just blend it out. So I'm gonna use my finger today. Cause you know, sometimes your fingers are the best instruments that you can use. Instruments? Utensils? No, that's not the word either. Tools. That's what I was going for. Oh my god, I can't believe I said utensils. <laughs> I'm gonna vlog the Revolve Festival for you guys, which I'm really excited about. I mean, hopefully we're allowed to vlog. I mean, I'm assuming. I know there's like celebrities there, but like, I think you're still allowed to vlog. Are you? Imagine I get there and they're like, sorry, no vlogging. I'd be like, eh, <laughs> pardon? <laughs> what do you mean? I promise I won't zoom in on Kendall Jenner. Wear it. Before I apply powders, I'm gonna do some cream highlighting while I were up here and uh, moist. Ew, Blech. I hate that I said the word. Okay, this is the YSL, oh, stick highlighter in the shade one, which is light gold. So I'm just gonna apply some of this onto the tip of my nose. This is like a intense ass highlighter. And then on our cheek, look at that. Whew. Whew. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder. So we're gonna focus this um, right here because this is where I get the most oily. Well, it's really where I just get oily. Right here and under our eyes and on my chin. Then for bronzer, I'm gonna be bringing the Hoola by Benefit Bronzer. This is the limited edition like jumbo one. I was trying to figure out though because their other one is smaller but thicker. Do you think this is like the same except this one's just flatter? Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna use this to bronze up my face. Going in and bronzing. Bronzer is a girl's best friend. We're just going for the bronzed look, you know? Not the chisel look, the bronze, the bronzed look. 
Perfect. Okay, blush. The Buxom Primer Infused Blush in Mykonos because we need that long-lasting life. And this is very pigmented and very long-lasting. I tap it and then I tap it on my hand because there's always too much. And I don't like too much blush. I like a subtle blush. This is how we do it on Chelsea's channel. Yes, this is some healthy looking flawless skin, which is what we want. I hate doing my eyebrows. Like I actually despise them. I wish they kind of just were perfect on their own. I have thought about getting like that brow thing people get done where they like microblade it or whatever, but it terrifies me. And I've seen some people's eyebrows where I'm like, all right, now your eyebrows just look like blocks and they don't look like real eyebrows. And I'm just not a fan of that look for me. Personally speaking, I'm just like, no, that's not a look that I'm going for. So yeah, that's kind of what's stopped me from doing so because I'm scared that I'm gonna look crazy. But that my eyebrows don't already look crazy because I just, I kind of like stopped grooming them. I used to like really pluck them and like trim them and now I've just let them go wild and they are doing exactly that. They are growing in every which direction that they please and we're just letting it happen, you know? It's really positive parenting that's going on with my eyebrows. I'm just letting them do whatever they want. The goal for the summer now is just to fix the, the deadness of my hair and let it regrow because it is so fried on this top layer, like these, this is fried. I know you probably don't think, can you see that? Fried. Yeah. Don't bleach your hair, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching this now, you're like, your hair is brown. Go back a couple months. My hair was blonde and now it is dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where's my gel? Here's my eyebrow gel. This one, Hourglass Arch. Always a go-to, always the G. The fluff needs to be happening. Okay, for my eyeshadow, this is what I am bringing. So, I have this Buxom palette that I actually put the uh, the shadows in here myself. Can I like take this out and show you guys? How does this work? Eh. Will it have the colors? No, it doesn't. Um, I'm gonna try and list all the names of these, but these are all individual Buxom eyeshadows and I love all of them. It has like kind of everything that I would want, like a highlight shade, and then like a brown that's just sparkly. This one is cool. And then these ones, some neutrals in a black, which we always need. And then for an extra shadow, I'm gonna bring this NYX um, eyeshadow in the color Liquid Gold. So it's like this really pretty shade. It's like perfect for me, so I'm bringing that as well because I love me a warm eye. We're gonna start off with the Buxom one. I'm gonna take this like the lighter brown and we're gonna start building that through our eye crease. I should wear an eye primer considering how hot it's gonna be, but like I hate eye primers, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> and then we're gonna take the cool goldish color from NYX and we're gonna apply that onto our lids. Such a pretty like bronze golden shade. Perfect for festivals when you wanna look like a bronzed goddess. Am I right? I'm right. I'm gonna go into the darker brown and we're gonna build this through our crease as well. Just to bronze it up a bit more, make it a bit more dramatic. Not that I ever really do dramatic eyes, but you know, like more dramatic for me. Taking a clean brush, we're gonna use that just to blend out this shadow. I'm actually going to Palm Springs with part of my management and then my friend Jess Mann, who is like so bomb at makeup. So I'm gonna be like so intimidated because her makeup's gonna look so good. So yeah, I'm gonna now take the black color in the palette, which is always, you need a black in your palette. And we're gonna wing our eyeliner with this. You guys already know that I do this all the time. I'm gonna go a bit farther out than I normally would because you know, festivals can be a little bit more like hardcore and shit. Beautiful. <laughs> It's the best wing I've ever done. Nothing stresses me out more than doing eyeliner. <laughs> Bringing the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascadia. <laughs> Don't know why I said it like that. I'm telling you, I feel like my coffee recently has been really making me hyper. I think it's also because I'm drinking really big coffees. Like I used to drink small, and now I'm like, no, give me the large. Give me the biggest cup that we have in my house, and that's what I'm having in the morning. My eyelashes are trash, by the way. Like, I don't know what's happened to them, but they are just not going through a good phase in their life. Not bad, not too shabby, if I say so myself. 
not too freaking shabby. We're gonna go into that cool blue shade now. I have hiccups or something, weird. And we're gonna apply this onto our lower lash line, which is really intimidating, but it's kind of like a brown with blue reflex in it, which is really cool. I have this weird hope that it's gonna make my eyes look more green. It's not even coming on that blue. I kind of want to apply some of it onto my eyelids too. Is that crazy? No, oh, I'm doing it. Nope, shit. Hmm. That's really pretty. I like that. I'm gonna bring this pack. They're really cheap. They're just kiss lashes. They're the 11s. Look like this. So I'm gonna apply those onto my eyes and I'll be right back. Okay, so my lashes are on. I'm just waiting for the glue to dry and I'm gonna apply my lips. So this is what I'm gonna bring as my lipstick because this is just like the perfect, it'll go with everything. This is the Buxom Plump Liner in Undercover. And it's like my favorite, so. We're just gonna. And this has like a little brush on the other side. So you can blend out the liner. But yeah, this is the completed look. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little makeup tutorial and seeing all the makeup I'm gonna be bringing to Co. I'm not going to Coachella to Palm Springs with me. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did. And make sure you guys are following me on my social medias. And I will see you all in my next video. Love you all so, so, so much. Bye.